Okay, um, so how can we start to use Visual Basic to um, help us? How can we make it useful for us? Well, a place to start might be um, using a text box control to capture some information from a user so a user types something into a text box and then we make use of the data that they've given us and typically that's what will happen in lots of Visual Basic applications so if I click in the toolbox over on the left hand side and grab a text box and then just drag that on somewhere onto the form and it will come up saying text one in it but that doesn't matter for now if we run that that becomes a text box that can be typed into okay so um, we should give that text box a more meaningful name now I'm going to start to use some naming conventions which will be covered in more detail in the next video uh, my naming convention for a text box I start off with the prefix of txt and what this text box is going to be for is to enter a number that is a raw number and the application might encode that number so it might jumble it up um, do something to it so the number becomes encoded. So I'm going to call that text box txt decoded because somebody's going to be entering a number in there that is not encoded so is therefore decoded. So that's the sensible name for that text box. Um, and what I'm also going to add on is a button which we've done before and I'm going to use the naming convention of cmd for a command button so uh, I'm going to call this one encode because what the button will do in the long run is encode the decoded value that is entered into the text box uh, let's give it a more sensible uh, caption as well so there's my button that's going to do the business uh, what I should also do with my text box if I don't want it to say text one in there as default is just go to the properties find the text property and delete it there and it will go from the form so we're starting to build up a little application here um, the button's going to do the business so we need to go and double click on the button and that will take us to the code that we're going to use um, and we can see there's the name of the button <clears throat> and the event is a click and it's useful to use these naming conventions because you know looking at the code that this is a, a button that's been clicked just by those three letters being there um, to get the value that is entered into the text box it is good practice to use variables and we know that variables are spaces in the computer's memory that are reserved for us to store values temporarily and in Visual Basic when we're declaring a variable we use the word dim and then a space and we're going to um, need to store some text in a variable and we're going to call the variable value and then we've got to say what sort of variable it is and it's a string now we can see here already Visual Basic is starting to help us because it's popping up with different sorts of uh, data types that we might be able to use and string is one of them, it's one of the more popular ones that we'll use a lot so we put that in there um, but for good practice for naming conventions we're going to pop a little s at the front so we know whenever we're using this variable that it's a string variable and that's good practice so what happens next well we do something as simple as this we use the variable again and I'm typing it all in lowercase there but Visual Basic will do a nice little thing when I hit uh, enter later on and go on to the next line it will actually change it to uh, have the capital V in there and that's useful because it just helps you know that you've spelt variables correctly um, we're going to make the variable equal to the value of the text box so our text box was called txt decoded and then we put a dot and again Visual Basic is helping us because it's going to give us all the properties of the text box and we want the text property and then we can display that text property we know how to do that with a message box so it might be just as simple as that so we show in the message box the value of the variable um, which should be the same as whatever's in the text box so let's try it out we're going to run it 
just put a simple number in, click the encode button and we can display in the message box the value that's in the variable which is the same as what's in the text box. So we're starting to make our Visual Basic project useful there.